What's up guys, Brian back to talk about The Walking Dead and possibly the biggest mistake the show made versus the comics. So we're going to talk about some comic stuff and the show, how it relates to each other. And it's going to be at this person right here, if you didn't guess it already. But it's debatable. I don't agree with all the points made by the link right here in the comicbook.com. We'll put the link in the description as well. Definitely check it out. It's a long article. We just summarized it. If you want to read more about it, there it is right there too. Um, it's basically about Andrea and how she was supposed to be on the show or whatever. Spoilers ahead from the comic book versus the show. We're just going to talk about a couple of things for that. If you don't know, you don't want to know, you can stop watching now. But The Walking Dead has become one of the most watched shows in television history. It has made an impact on the framework of horror entertainment since 2010. After the show began, comic sales went through the roof. Adults began to care about collectible toys again. And every hot topic in the country was filled with Norman Reedus apparel. It seems like every convention is headlined by Walking Dead stars and every new series seems to feature a past member of the cast. Let's face it, The Walking Dead is a national phenomenon on it's completely in inescapable with the praise and popularity one glaring question that remains could the show have been better and we don't know we'll find out but let's it's going to make a point for that too think about it could the walking dead have been better if you're telling yourself no you're lying sure every show can make little tweaks to improve itself but that isn't what we're talking about the walking dead made one enormous mistake that it changed the entire framework and the show is much worse for it that mistake the walking dead could its most important character now i wouldn't say it's the most important character the article went a little crazy with the points here the most important character definitely is rick grimes that's for damn sure but Andrea is a huge character in the comic and she really wasn't the same type of character in the show She really was a different character altogether what they turned into with the with the Woodbury and stuff there, too Yes, Rick and Carl are still alive, but neither of them are who the, this article is about in the comics There is one character who motivates and reacts reactions directly the entire course of the story and the rest of the group is much better for it The series dropped the ball by killing Andrea if you're a fan of the comic, you probably agree. The whole thing with the governor and Woodbury in this too doesn't happen in the comic, and they did that for the show, and it kind of it kind of watered down the show and made it pretty crappy. For the latter part of the comic series, Rick and Andrea are the king and queen of The Walking Dead. They realized that each of them had lost so much, they decided to fight each other over other in order to stay alive. They've gotten to the point where Carl calls Andrea mom, and Rick tells Michonne that he loves Andrea more than he did Lori. This tale of loss turned love one of the most emotional impacts arcs of the comics, and we will never get to see it in the screen. Instead, Andrea was killed by a walker in Woodbury. In an attempt to differentiate the series in the comics, the writers made the big change on there too. So Andrea, still alive in the comic. She's with Rick instead of Michonne. There you see kind of the similar kind of picture here, um, what they did in the bed scene. And they did replicate some of the things from that too, but they changed the dynamic of the show with Rick and uh, Michonne when they killed off Andrea. It was easy to tell that the decision didn't happen until the third season as Andrea and Rick's relationship had undergone some deep character building from the beginning. In the first season, many conversations between the two characters set up a relationship down the road and her death just discarded all that work. If you go back and watch the first interaction, the second episode of the first season, the two have arguing about a loaded gun. The single conversation was meant to come back around when they got together later on, but it never, it won't happen now. So it was kind of this interaction, you know, well, not this one. It's when she points the gun at him and she said that the safety's on and everything. You know how the safety works and everything, but this is when he's looking. She's looking at something to get her sister for her birthday. But not only do we lose the most valuable couple from the comics, but the decision has rippled to many other characters on the show, Michonne being the most crucial. If you've been watching the show, you know that Rick and Michonne are together now. The relationship may seem odd and out of nowhere because that's because it is. Well, I wouldn't say it's out of nowhere. I would say that it's definitely come out of left field. You know, you kind of could see them building something a little bit on there too. And it's easy to say to look back on there now because we, they are together, but there really wasn't that an affinity for each other and love for each other that they've just kind of developed into for season six. But none of Michonne's major story points will, pre will be present in the series all because Andrea is no longer around. Through this process, Carl has loses also loses another mother. He and Michonne have a great relationship, that's for sure, but he won't get the time with her that he did with Andrea since he's already a young man on the show. He won't have someone to raise him through the tough years like Andrea did. With all these changes, Rick's character will soon be significantly altered as well. So I think it does play a factor too. The Carl growing up without a mother role will play a factor on the show, but I don't know how much. Andrea did take over as the surrogate mother for uh, Carl, 
But, you know, we'll see how that plays out. When he returns from Negan's lineup, Rick won't have a partner to return to. He won't have a rock at his side to keep him grounded after he loses a friend. He will have Michonne, but she was also there equally as broken. Well, I think that's not true. I think they will both turn to each other to see where it's at. I don't think that because they went through it together. I think that's what the show is going to represent, that they both went through it all. Michonne from the Glenn side and the Van side, Rick from that. I think they're going to come together that way. I don't think it's going to be as like, oh, well, you don't have someone to turn to. It's just going to be a different type of help and relationship that way. In the books, Rick and Andrea have a catchphrase, we don't die. Throughout all their loss, their pain, their constant fight against nature, neither one of them have either gone anywhere. They have had each other to turn to even when they didn't realize it. When Rick and Andrea got together for the first time, he wanted to run away since everyone who had ever been close to him had died. He didn't want the same fate for Andrea. Instead of backing away, Andrea pushed against him. So that's true. All of Rick's lovers were dead. Andrea is still alive. So that bodes well for Michonne because Michonne is taking place of Andrea. I think Michonne's going to be around for a long time, but Andrea is still around in the comics. So it's a nice little twist. What Rick had forgotten was Andrea lost everyone too. Over the course of almost 100 issues, Andrea had gone through an entire life. She began as a girl, buried a sister, fell in love, adopted children, lost children, and watched the man she loved die right in front of her. What people do on this earth don't experience in a lifetime, Andrea went through in a couple of years. With her battles against grief and loss, Andrea became the only person who could show Rick that there was another side. When he lost hope, Andrea reminded her that everyone's life isn't that difficult, and there will always be a way to overcome it. Andrea had a tough time on the show as well. She had to deal with the loss of Amy on there too, just like the comic. And, you know, it was a lot for a lot to do. You know, they did change the dynamic though, that's for damn sure, by killing Andrea. Rick and Andrea's love encompassed the entire theme of the series. Love gives hope to even the most dire of circumstances. Sadly, love of the show will never get to see this theme lived out. None of this is to say that the show isn't great. They have done an exceptional job of recovering from the loss. Rick and Michonne's budding love will give us a grasp of what could have been. But then the addition of Sasha and Tara have helped bridge a couple of the gaps. So they kind of took things differently from a couple of different areas. You know, the relationship of Rick and Andrea won't ever play on the show, of course, but we're gonna, they're going to have to fill in the gaps and stuff there too because it did play a different gateway for it. The fact remains, though, that The Walking Day... The Walking Dead will never be able to reach its full potential with the deepest character in Robert Kirkman's arsenal and a body bag. Body bag. The show isn't the same without Andrea, and the decisions to end her story will forever keep the comics three steps ahead. The Queen of Alexandria will never be, and The Walking Dead will never achieve the greatness it aspires to. I don't think so. I don't think that's true. I think the show is going to be great and it's going to be fine. But, you know, Andrea, Lori Holden had an eight-year deal. We talked about this in another video. Check it out if you can find it on our channel. It's pretty cool. Andrea, Lori Holden was supposed to be there for a while. But, you know, I think it's over the top. It's a little much. I don't think she's the biggest character, whatever they said. But there you go, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Let us know what you think. And as always, thank you for watching. You guys are awesome.